this cryptocurrency project could be the biggest game changer to the Solana network. Marinade Finance is a liquid staking protocol for the Solana ecosystem, but to truly understand how revolutionary this technology is, we need to understand traditional staking, the effects on liquidity and how liquidity affects the market. Now staking is a process of locking up your cryptocurrency for a predefined period in order to assist in helping a network run. To incentivize staking, stake tokens can earn yield, a bit like interest in a bank account. However, this comes at the cost of your stake tokens being inaccessible for that select period of time. Now, in the case of Solana, when we stake our Solana tokens, this leads to a decrease in Solana liquidity. So what is liquidity? Well, liquidity is the ability to exchange one asset to another. When you have low liquidity in the market, it becomes very hard to make significant purchase and sell orders. As a result, a large purchase or sell order will significantly affect the price of a token. When we have low liquidity in a token, this leads to large volatile swings when an individual tries to buy or sell that token. This can lead to a token being manipulated or lead to the inability to buy or sell large positions. As a result, what we tend to see is the increase in cost on purchases and the decrease in profit on sales. Therefore, a low liquidity market makes a token less attractive to investors. However, one way to solve this is to create more liquidity out of the same amount of funds that already exist in the market. So how do we do this? Well, enter Marinade Finance. Marinade Finance was the first non-custodial liquid staking option for Solana, with non-custodial defined as no central party and no third party. Now, liquid staking removes the problem of having your funds locked up. When it comes to liquid staking, your stake tokens stay where they are and act as collateral. However, in return, you receive derivative tokens which can be used within the market. If you use Marinade Finance to stake your Solana, in return, you receive MSO or Marinated Solana. Marinated Solana can then be used for DeFi lending, collateral trading, all while still earning your interest on that stake Solana. The price of marinated Solana tracks the actual price of Solana and you can unstake at any time for a small fee or for free if you're willing to wait your allocated staked period. And as we mentioned, it's non-custodial. That means your funds stay with you the whole time during this process. Marinade Finance also takes care of selecting a validator based on a trust scoring algorithm. Currently, there are hundreds of validators within the network. For those of you who don't know what a validator is, a validator is just someone who's responsible for verifying transactions within the blockchain. The Marinade DAO or the Central Autonomous Organization gives control and governance to its users. Owners of the native token Marinade Finance have the ability to vote on future protocols and where they want to see the project go next. In order to vote, Marinade Finance users have to lock up their token for 30 days in return, they receive sort of like a NFT registration card. This NFT registration card allows access to the Marinade Discord, the DAO and governance abilities. When the NFT holders approve of new rules, these are built onto the on-chain smart contract where everyone can assess them and it can all be audited. Now, Marinade Finance may have been the first liquid staking protocol for the Solana network, but I'm not going to lie to you, currently competitors do exist. The largest competitor of Marinade Finance is Lido. Lido is well known in the Ethereum community with currently over $16 billion of staked Ethereum floating within the protocol. For those of you who haven't heard of the term total value locked or TVL, Think of it like faith you have in a protocol. It's like going to your bank and keeping your cash in the bank. It's a similar concept. Recently, Lido have seen the launch of a liquid staking platform on Solana known as STSO. And at the time of this recording, only 80 million is locked in their Solana liquid staking option. Some other Solana alternatives consist of GTO with a TVL of 205 million US dollars, JPool with a TVL of 25 million dollars, and Blaze Stake with a TVO of $24 million. As a result, Marinade Finance with a TVO of $353 million is blowing the competition out of the water. Now, hopefully you understand why liquid staking protocols are so important for the market. In summary, they reduce the risk of staking for staking token holders, while alleviating the strain that proof of stake puts on the market liquidity. As a result, liquidity is increased without needing additional capital flows into the market. This is a massive benefit, especially towards a network like Solana, which has taken a bit of a beating since the FTX collapse. It's easier for existing Solana holders to venture into DeFi services than it is to attract new entrants into the network. Now with a current market cap of only 30 million US dollars, 
This doesn't even put Marinade Finance in the top 2,000 cryptocurrency projects. This is even more wild when you consider there's over $300 million locked within the Marinade Finance protocol, which really shows the amount of faith investors have in the long-term vision of the project. Now, the biggest comparison when it comes to price predictions of Marinade Finance is comparing it to its competitor, Lido, which has conquered the Ethereum market. If Marinade Finance was able to recreate the run-up that Lido had in the last bull run, that would lead to a 97x and put Marinade Finance at $13 per Marinade Finance token. As a result, there's no denying this cryptocurrency project could be the next big thing. Will you be supporting Marinade? Let me know in the comments.